It's October 9th, Columbus Day. I got the day off. Mo and I are at Artie Bailey. We're going to piddle fart around, dilly dick around. What do you want to do, Mo? Piddle fart or dilly dick? Um, <laughs> and Mo's got his metal detector. We're going to maybe try to find some places to metal detect. And we got a little bit of food to cook us some tacos here in a little bit. So we're just going to spend the day kicking it up here at Artie Bailey. It's a cool little lake. It's close to home. Me and Mo been making use of it the past year or so. Just this area. We got white water above it and white water below it, but neither of those are running. So we got options. We'll see where the day takes us. We ain't got nothing to do for a few hours. All right. So thanks for checking it out. Start at the top and it might look right. Yeah. Look where they end up going. Yeah. They come together. That's why you always make sure you're level. So is there two? Oh, they they set up wrong on that. Those are big. Oh. Yeah, you can see how t close these two right oh, here are. Yeah, right? That's bad. Like by the time that got down to probably right in here. They're about in the same hole. They were. This area right here is the spillway below the dam. It's real nice down there. They keep it pretty clean. It's where we put in when we do the Guy and Dock River from Artie Bailey down through Gilbert. It's a class one. There's one class two on it. It's been a real good beginner section for me to get started on whitewater kayaking. It was nice to check out this part of the lake. Usually we're jumping in our boats and going down the river, so it was pretty cool to check that out. We didn't find anything with the metal detector, but the leaves are starting to pop. Falls here. It was a good day. This is up at the Overlook and Visitor Center of Artie Bailey Lake. Saw us a couple doe, white-tailed deer. They got a playground, a little picnic area. There's a trail. I can't recall the name of the trail, but it's supposed to loop the whole lake, I think. I need to do the trail one day. But it's beautiful up there. We didn't have a lot of sunshine, but the leaves were turning, lots of colors, and the fog looked pretty cool. It ain't like it's like uh, winter time. Even so, it's a day use place. I don't understand. <laughs> This area is where you do the tent camping primitive sites. 
on up the road are the electric sites but they are closed this time of year i think they only open from memorial day to labor day and we missed that but this section is right along the river all the campsites are right beside the river and this section of the river class two class three goodness but it only runs sometimes that's the only bad thing How is it, man? Oh, good. Cool. Hot? Good. Then I'll go in on that second. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Eating tacos in the rain at R.D. Bailey Lake. It's a good day in October. A little cold, a little rainy. We're still trying to figure out what we're going to do. I know we're going to eat a buttload of tacos. Got Mo drinking the Mellow Yellow. Me and Mo had us a little picnic up at here at RD Bailey. Checked out the sites. They had a lot of stuff closed. My idea for today was to kind of show the features of RD Bailey. And we were going to go paddle to that cave that we went to once before. If you saw that video. Um, it ended up raining on us. All we got is a wetsuit for Mo. I had a dry suit I was going to try today for the first time. But. We're going to put that off to another day. No reason to get pneumonia if we don't have to. So It's been a good day just hanging out. Getting to be out here in nature and stuff. It's been a good day. So, Till next time. Thanks for checking it out.